Howdy folks, Nathan Adlin here with the Fastlane Truck and I'm with... Kent with MrTruck.com. And Andre Smirnoff. And look what we have behind us. These represent brand new trailers that we're going to be using with everything TFL Truck does. Absolutely. This is a very exciting day, right? We got three trailers here. We got a small 14-foot stock trailer. Right. We got a cargo trailer, yes. which we can carry cars in. Yes. And a big giant 30,000 pound gooseneck. And they're brand new. <laughs> big techs. Coming up next, guys, you're gonna have a little look at each one of these trailers. We're gonna just give you a little bit of a sample. This one here is a CM stock trailer. Um, it's a little, I believe it's a 14 foot. Um, just basic uh, stock trailer on it okay. and uh, it came in and then you know you were asking what we do with them when they come in we unload them and then what we did uh, prior to coming in is what we do is a PDI pre-delivery inspection on them this CM stock trailer 14 foot this is uh, what we're going to use in our SUVs our crossovers nice size trailer and it has an equalizer shackle system like a lot of RVs have. So you got an eyelet on each end of the spring, equalizer in the middle, so as it gets longer it flexes out on the shackle, similar to what a back end of a truck has with leaf springs. But that's the setup there. Now this one will be able to get up to 7,000 pounds on it. It's got two 3,500 pound axles, so that's going to be our maximum capacity. It weighs I think 2,400 pounds. So we've got a lot of place, a lot of weight we can put on this trailer. Two inch ball, regular jack, good looking trailer. It's a steel trailer from CM, that's uh, the uh, horse trailer, farm trailer division of Big Tex. Now this is one of the ones that come in because of height restrictions of hauling and being stacked on another trailer, it didn't have any wheels on it. So we unload it, put it on stands, load the, you know, set the tires on, again, torque them down to the specs ratings for them. Again, check, make sure, now this one being a bigger trailer and being wider, we have to make sure, you know, it's got proper promiscuity tape on it. Okay. And this, I think, has 6,200 pound axles. These are torsion axles. This is a big box trailer, and it has, you know, we're going to use it to load some cars and some other things. It has a ramp with a garage door spring on it. These are torsion axles, like you see on a lot of horse trailers. Torsion axles, you know, is four wheel independent, and the uh, spring has a shaft inside of a box, and between the, the grooves are rubber tubes. And so that is your suspension, the rubber tubes twisting inside that box with against the axle. That's how these work. That makes them four wheel independent, which is a nice suspension. Has about two and a half inches of travel. This is another steel trailer. And this is, uh, you say it was 20 feet long. So what is the towing capacity on your Explorer? Maximum capacity with this engine. Yes. This setup is 5,000 pounds. Okay, and how much are you towing? Uh, 2,400 pounds. Okay, okay. And I'm towing 4,200 pounds. That thing looks a lot heavier than that. That's interesting. That's a big box. But see, this is the whole point of your vehicle, towing. Towing is really what's important. Okay, well, how about we do some driving impressions towing and figure out how it feels? All right, that's a good idea. I'm carrying our brand new CM trailer, 20 foot cargo mate. Of course, this is a giant box, right? So it's about seven feet tall. Overall, the F-150 is towing really well. Um, like I said, when you get into higher speeds with a very large trailer, you're getting a little bit of sway. So you have to know exactly what your tongue weight is. You have to dial it in so you have the right amount of tongue weight. Other than that, the V6, the EcoBoost twin turbo, it's plenty powerful in this truck and it tows like a monster. I have a 2400 pound trailer behind me right now and I'm accelerating like it is absolutely no big deal. Brakes are pretty beefy and they've done a really good job. I, I really can't complain. I'm actually kind of surprised. What I'm surprised about is actually the fact that the trailer doesn't feel like it's wagging this. They call it the tail wagging the dog or whatever. It doesn't feel like that at all. Um, I've gone over some big bumps and that's, it's a dual axle trailer and it's relatively large. Altogether, if 
you are looking for a crossover SUV that has some pretty good chops for towing, I gotta admit, I am impressed. On the big one? Yeah. That's always the exciting one because uh, I'm loading it, which would have been interesting for you to see because uh, we have to get it just right with the forklift because it's <laughs> the balance on it. Again, we get it off, set it down, get the wheels put on. It's got dual tandem, so it takes a little bit more and then we've got to torque them up and you know, definitely want to make sure these are to the right torque rating because this is a 30,000 rated trailer. So if it's fully loaded, it's, you know, putting a lot of pressure on there. This is a 30 foot flybed. Look at my safety chains. My gosh, it's a big hook. It's a hell of a hook. 12 inch I-beam in the neck. It's got 12 inch frame all the way across. This has two speed jacks, which we have to have. It's a low profile. So the four boards go down to the frame. So it's a little lower to the ground. Now this trailer has got two 15,000 pound axles. That's a big, that's a 5.8 stud. That's a 17.5, 16 ply tire. And that will hold at least 30,000 pounds for this trailer. Now this also has cool valve stems. It's got both valve stems. The inner dual, the outer dual, both come to the outside, which I love. Oil bath bearings, so we don't have to grease it. We just check the oil on them. And these are spread as far as you can go, which gives us a little better weight distribution. Heavy duty trailer, 30 feet long, five foot dovetail on it with our big ramps. But this trailer is a big trailer. Look at how heavy the mud flap is even big on this thing. This whole thing is heavy duty. Can you imagine 16 ply tires? They're regroovable, just like a semi tire. This is like a baby semi trailer. It's cool. Hey guys, it's another TFL vlog with my driving partner, actually the wonderful and talented Craig Cole. Don't oversell me. From Auto Guide. I get a little brown on my nose, man. <laughs> and uh, we're here in uh, my backyard, which is Colorado. We're, well, we're um, kind of on the other side of Aspen, actually. And Jaguar was kind enough not only to fly us here, well, you, I drove, uh, but also to set up this off-road course. <laughs> 